Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2004 exam. This one is for two marks. Have a look at the statement. It reads, a TCP message consisting of 2100 bytes is passed to IP for delivery across two networks. The first network can carry a maximum payload of 1200 bytes per frame. And the second network can carry a maximum payload of 400 bytes per frame, excluding network overhead. Assume that IP overhead per packet is 20 bytes. What is the total IP overhead in second network for this transmission? Okay, so we want to send data across two networks. Suppose this is the first network, this is the second network. We want to send data across both of them. Okay, now there is a line which reads maximum payload is equal to 1200 bytes per frame excluding network overhead for the first network. What is the meaning of this line? What is this 1200 bytes actually? Is it MTU? Is it the MSS or what? Okay, let us analyze this. They are saying maximum payload per frame is 1200 bytes. Frame is used at data link layer. Okay, so let me draw a data link layer frame. Suppose this is the DLL frame. We have a header and a trailer in this frame. Okay, this part will be payload of data link layer frame. Okay. Actually, the meaning of payload is something else, okay? But when you are talking about payload of a frame, it will be the data contained in that frame, okay? So this part. Now you very well know, this is also called maximum transmittable unit or MTU. So they are saying maximum payload is equal to 1200 bytes per frame. So is MTU equal to 1200 bytes? No, MTU is not equal to 1200 bytes because they are saying this excludes the network overhead, okay? In this part, there will be IP packet. That IP packet will have some header, okay? They are saying this part is 1200 bytes excluding the network overhead. Excluding network overhead means excluding this header. So actually this much part starting from here to here it is 1200 bytes okay so what will be the mtu m2 will be the maximum data that ip packet can contain plus the header size header size for this question is 20 bytes okay they are assuming the smallest header so 1200 plus 20 will be 1220 okay so for this network mtu is 1220 and this 1200 is the data Maximum data which network layer packet can carry, excluding packets. Okay, so don't subtract 20 here. They are already excluding the packets. Here MTU will be 420. Maximum data of network layer can be 400. Okay, now let us start this question. They were saying that TCP layer sends 2100 bytes to IP layer. So because TCP layer is sending some data to IP layer, it means TCP has done its thing. TCP has already added its header. Only after adding the headers, TC will send, TCP will send the data to IP. Okay, that means this includes the TCP header. So we need not add a TCP header separately on this data. Okay, so this includes TCP header and IP will consider this one as the message. So message for IP is 2100 bytes. Okay, this is the message for IP. IP will add its own header of 20 bytes. So total becomes 2120, okay. Then it will give to DLL. Data link layer is going to add a header and a trailer and it will just put this frame on the channel. Now the frame will be received here by some router, okay. What will happen? at data link layer of this router. Data link layer will remove its headers and trailers. Okay, so this much part will be given to the IP layer of this router. What will IP layer do? IP layer will see 20 bytes are for header. Okay, IP layer will remove its header. The IP layer or network layer of this router is going to get this data which is of 2100 bytes. Okay it has removed a header of 20 bytes. Okay, but still this header is not deleted. This header will be there on the network layer. Okay, 
it it will be used for fragmentation fragmentation is required because now we want to send the data to this network here network layer can have maximum of 1200 bytes data but we have 2100 bytes of data in one packet that means this packet needs to be fragmented okay so it will be uh, broken into two fragments the first fragment can contain maximum of 1200 bytes so let us prepare first fragment that contains 1200 bytes of data okay now you very well know that except for last fragment each fragment has to contain number of bytes which is a multiple of 8 so is 1200 a multiple of 8 yeah 8 into 15 that means 150 if you divide 1200 by 8 you will get 150 there is no decimal okay so this is exactly divisible by 8 that means this size of fragment is acceptable okay and the other fragment will be of so 2100 minus 1200 this is 8 plus 1 9 so you have 900 bytes that are left and one more fragment will be made for those 900 bytes okay now ip layer will add its header to both of the fragments here you will add 20 bytes of header here also you will add 20 bytes of header okay most of the things will be taken from this header only such as the source and destination address and a lot of things but there will be minor changes we have seen that changes in the video of fragmentation okay so what will be the changes this will be exactly copied except for a few fields such as the fragment offset field and more fragments field and so on okay we have already seen that part anyways the header will be of 20 bytes for both of these fragments okay now this is not a multiple of it is it acceptable yes it is acceptable because this is the last fragment we have created two fragments and this is the last one so it is acceptable even if this is not a multiple of it 900 will not be divisible by it okay so but still it's okay now this will travel across this network and both of the packets will reach here okay just like this we took the help of data link layer something similar is going to happen now uh, the network layer will receive two packets this one and this one so let us first talk about this one only so there are 1200 bytes of data plus 20 bytes of header first thing that will be done just remove these 20 bytes okay and keep them separately okay now the router will see only 400 bytes are allowed in one fragment okay we have already seen that this means maximum data which network layer can carry here one packet contains data of 1200 bytes except for the header the data is 1200 we can put only 400 bytes of data so create fragments how many fragments will be created first fragment is of 400 second frag fragment will also be of 400 so total of 800 and third fragment will also be of 400 that means total 1200 so 12 by 4 is 3 so three fragments will be created 400 400 and 400 okay again the header will be copied on all three of them hello who's this who's this yeah sorry okay so you can see <laughs> these customer care people are disturbing me throughout the day what was i discussing yeah this header will be copied on all of the three frames because important information like the source ip destination ip need to be present on all of these packets okay only the offset and more fragment fields and the fields related to fragmentation might change so this is 20 bytes this is 20 bytes and this is also 20 bytes okay now let us discuss what will happen to this one it is 900 
bytes of data will be received by network layer of this router and these 20 bytes actually it is 920 so 20 will be separated like this only so i am just writing it here this router will receive 920 bytes at network layer so these will be separated like this now what will happen i am just going a bit fast 400 400 800 and 100 will be left okay so like this here also you will have headers okay so 20 bytes header here 20 bytes header here and 20 bytes header here now is this size acceptable yeah 400 will be divisible by it 400 will be divisible by it and we need not worry about the last fragment okay why don't we worry about the last fragment we have already discussed it many times in the theory lectures okay you can refer them now here also 400 is divisible by it 400 is divisible by 8 and we need not worry about the last fragment it is 100 100 will not be divisible by 8 but we need not care about the last fragment okay so they were asking in second network what is the total overhead so 20 plus 20 is 40 plus 20 is 60 then again 60 for these three the total overhead will be 60 plus 60 that is 120 so answer to this question will be 120 bytes okay thank you very much for watching this video have a good day